Medina Not Well and the Chital Gate were both very prominent features back during the time of, of the child doctor and the Wazir Mosque. But it was actually partition that led to the suggestion of Greg, uh, Mr. McGregor, of all things, of the British, former British Empire, who suggested that they build this to protect the mosque after partition. Um, unfortunately, now it's completely falling apart. It's quite scary that I walk under this 20 times already and you go under it all the time, but it really is literally about to dilapidate. But hopefully it'll be put back together soon. Lahori's love to have non chana for breakfast, and after an early morning stroll, I had built up an appetite and decided to try it. Here comes my waiter. Here comes my waiter. Bringing my bread. Shakriya, bye. Kia ye? Grain. Chene, chene. Chene grain is like beans? Egg. Egg, beans. Oh, and the bread is so fresh, it's like piping hot. This is Shakriya Bite. I pass through the Kashmiri market, past the old townhouses and havelis. Locals are known to jump over rooftops to visit each other's houses in order to avoid the traffic. Walking through the Delhi Bazaar, realizing this is the pathway where the Mughals would have walked down and the royal family to get to the Lahore Fort. And oh my God, that is beautiful. I am utterly awestruck by the glory and magnitude of the Wazir Khan Mosque towering over me. Heaven alone is the only backdrop for four minars and five grand domes. It is breathtaking. I rise to meet them, slowly climbing each of the old steps up to the Wazir Khan Mosque. The beauty of the hand-painted tiles. It strikes me that this elaborate entrance symbolizes the wide open gate to God. where one transitions from this earthly material world to the spiritual heavenly one. I suddenly find myself in a generous portico, an ancient Persian dome chamber that was assimilated into Islamic architecture. The mosque was used for daily prayers, but in Mughal times, it was also dedicated to artists in a corner they called the calligrapher's corner. This was the magnet for philosophers, writers, calligraphers, and all sorts to perform and debate. The history of this mosque runs even deeper than all the grandeur that is apparent here. Beneath Wazir Khan Mosque are Sufi graves. Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan built this on top of an old Sufi complex. The walled city of Lahore is indeed made up of layers upon layers of history. This has been an incredible journey through the Delhi Gate, a journey full of wonder of old spices, fragrant flowers, grand mosques, hammams, havelis, and yes, even magical trees. The main thing that inspires me to travel on to the next gate are the people of the walled city. Their kindness makes me want to know more about them and where they come from. I am excited for our next gate.